Are dwarf Algerian sand geckos the best desk pet? Find out in this video. In today's video, we're going to learn about Tropicolores studneri or studneri's pygmy gecko, also known as the dwarf Algerian sand gecko. That's probably what I'm going to be calling them in this video. The dwarf Algerian sand gecko comes from North Africa, from places like, as its name implies, Algeria, all the way to the Red Sea. These are one of the smallest species of geckos, and adults only get around two or two and a half inches big. But even though they are very tiny, they pack a huge punch in terms of personality and activity, which is why I think they make the perfect desk pet for work. First of all, let's talk about their enclosure. This one right here. Let's take a closer look. I have my gecko set up in a 12 by 12 by 12 cube exoterra. I use the exoterra stone desert substrate for the background to help create an environment that mimics their natural habitat of boulders in the desert. As I mentioned earlier, these geckos are super active and they use every inch of the enclosure. They climb all over the background, they hide in the nooks and crannies in the rocks, and they burrow in the sand. By the way, if you want to see a build video on how I set up this enclosure, let me know in the comments below and I'll make one. Next, let's talk about their diet. This species is insectivore, so I feed them a variety of insects, but of course, because of their size, all the insects I feed them are super small. So things like fruit flies or pinhead crickets. So don't forget to supplement your insects with calcium or vitamin supplements. I do also have a small water dish in the enclosure, but I have to keep an eye on it almost every day. Because it's such a hot enclosure, the water dish does dry out super fast. I also find missing them several times a week helps maintain the humidity and stops everything from getting too dry. Dwarf Algerian sand geckos thrive in hot conditions. And when I say hot, I mean hot. I use a heat bulb in this enclosure to raise the temperature of the heating spot or the basking spot to 36 degrees Celsius. But I do know of other keepers that keep them over 40 degrees Celsius hot and they seem to do very well at those temperatures as well. Other than the heat bulb, I also provide a 7% UVB light for all my desert geckos. This light remains on for the majority of the day. Interestingly enough, I found that the dwarf Algerian sand geckos actually spend more time out during the day and bask under the UVB and the heat lamp more than the Stenodactylus or any of my other desert species. And that's basically everything you need to know to keep the dwarf Algerian sand gecko. They're a super easy gecko to keep, they're a lot of fun, and I highly recommend them. This video is the basic care for Tropicolotes species. I believe all species under the Tropicolotes genus are kept fairly similar. This is the only species I've kept, but from my research, it seems that they're all kept fairly similar. But of course, before you get any reptile into your house, please remember to do your own research and look at multiple sources. If you know something about this species that I forgot to mention, please leave it in the comments below. There's not much information on them online and I'm still learning about them as I go. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, do all the things. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one.